you might say this is not an app it's a translator obviously yes it's a translator but there's no how you learn a new language without using a translator i mean do you know everything you are reading <music> hello guys and welcome back to my channel my name is amanda ahelaka and if you're new you're very welcome please don't go away so in this video i'm going to be talking about um six apps that you can use to learn a foreign language so just stick with me to the end and i promise you are going to learn something very useful now the first app i'm going to talk about is memorize now i've been using memorize for close to six years and i can tell you i really enjoy using it i've learned a lot of things while using memorize memorize can teach you about 20 different um, languages and each language has um, different levels of courses now for example Korean language has about seven um, courses and each courses also have um, um, subdivisions so now each subdivision have different further things that you can learn inside so just imagine the amount of things you can learn with memorize memorize is a very good app and I hope you try it memorize um, also has um, um, offline mode it has a free and a paid version now i think because i've been using memorize for a while now in my previous phone i downloaded the offline version and i was able to use um, memorize without my data but right now i tried downloading it in a new phone and i discovered that you can't download the offline mode anymore if you don't have the paid version so but me um when i changed a new phone i was still able to download it so Memorize is very good. You don't need to pay for it. I don't pay. I like cheap things. I don't pay for any app that I use. So I use the free version and it's very, very good. You can learn words, phrases, improve your vocabulary with Memorize. Now, the second app that I use is called Language Transfer. I just recently found about this app and it's very, very good. The only downside to this app is that it has only nine languages and it's possible that the language you're trying to learn might not be in this app. So why I like this app is because it's an audio course. It's basically an audio course now in this app you don't see anything the only thing you're doing is listening now for you to be able to enjoy using this app you need to be able to listen carefully you need to be able to think uh, think and then respond now this um, um, app has different um, pre-recorded lectures now if you can you can see while opening this app we have nine languages we have um, Spanish French Italian Greek and so on now for greek alone imagine you're learning greek you have 120 courses to listen from audio courses to listen from what you need to do or what i do is i get my book i do as if i'm in the class or the lecturer or the tutor is in front of me so whatever is telling the student to do i do it if it's too fast for me i just post it down and he, he will even tell you to do that now i find this very helpful for, especially for those who do not have access to centers where this language is being taught this is like having a teacher in front of you so if you use this app and if the language you're trying to learn is in this app good for you now the third app is hello talk now hello talk is a social media app or a language learning app that helps you to converse with native natives of the language you're trying to learn this app what you need to do is to find people who are natives of the language you are trying to learn or who speak that language and then converse with them now one thing about language is that if you are learning something and you don't practice it you tend to forget so hello talk helps with this aspect what you need to do is to find natives that speak that particular language or can speak that language and start chatting with them so it will help you to be able to remember this and they too will be able to correct you now during the chat they are able to correct you and um tell you that this particular way where you use this statement is wrong or how you put it is wrong and i find that to be very very helpful because if i don't practice it i will just keep on saying the wrong thing and i will never know until when i say it to someone that is the native of that language now the fourth app is Anki or Anki Droid. Now Anki is a flashcard app. When I downloaded this app at first, I thought it came with flashcards. Like you just open the app, tap the particular language you're trying to learn and then flashcard will start to appear. But I was so wrong. In Anki, you have to create your own flashcards. And this is not only used for language learning. You can actually use this in school. If you're a university student, a medical student, for example, you're trying to remember some certain words or what this vein is used for, you can actually write it down and create your own flashcards. What you do is that you just 
title your flashcards and then start adding cards to the deck so it's just like a normal flashcard but it's only that it's on your phone and it's digital so if you type for example you type um an young haseyo you tap it again the next thing you see is the meaning of that particular word so i find it very very helpful and it helps me to increase or um widen my vocabulary it helps me with recalling some particular words because there are some words i just forget because they have a lot of meaning now when using anki there's something i do while using anki now for those of you that have been following my video you know that when um, in Korean language you have the formal and informal and for French that I'm learning now I discovered that you have masculine and feminine words what I do is instead of just writing the particular word and the meaning on the flashcards I write the word then I write the meaning and I write formal or informal or for French male or female but when I use it it not only helps me to remember that this is the meaning of the word but it also helps me to remember that this is how you say it in a formal way or this is how you say it in an informal way or this is a masculine word or a feminine word so it's very very good if using flashcards while you are learning a language is very very good so i encourage you to try it out now the last two apps are iTranslate and google translator now you might say this is not an app it's a translator obviously yes it's a translator but there's no how you learn a new language without using a translator i mean do you know everything you are reading no there are some things you want to know you heard this word what does it mean or how do i say this in this language you need a translator for that now for me personally i prefer um i translator to google translator why because i feel like i translator gives me more of a correct translation than google translator when using a translator one thing you should not do is type in too many words you are going to get it wrong no matter the translator you are using what helps is to type in a sentence at a time now for example when i'm using a translator and i want to say um it's been a while how are you doing i will type it's been a while how are you doing or i can type it's been a while get my translation and then how are you doing get my translation then for me i can put it together but if you type in it's been a while how are you doing give me your phone number and um, where are you staying you are going to get it mixed up no matter what you may be able to understand what it's saying but for you to get the exact translation it's advisable for you to type in little sentences as a type don't type in a whole paragraph or a whole page of um, a particular language you're not going to get the correct translation now google translator is um i use it but i don't type in long long sentences there are some times when the head of the translator just turns upside down and it gives you a wrong thing you will know that it's wrong especially for me that i'm learning a language when i say a translation that is wrong i'll be like this is not how it's supposed to be but for somebody that is a beginner you might not know and you tend to write it like that and you get the wrong answer now when learning a new language my advice for you is to get more than one translator don't ever trust one particular translation translator because it might be wrong the particular one you're thinking is very very good might be wrong at times so it's better you get two translators and then compare the translations you get from two of them then you'll be able to tell which is right and which is wrong now google translator why i actually like it is because for example let's say i have a magazine or a book that is in the language i'm trying to translate i can't obviously keep typing it small small or little by little it's going to wear me out so what i do is they have this scan feature on um, google translator you just carry your tablet or the what are they calling it? the phone your android phone or iphone whatever you're using and then hover it around particular page you're trying to translate and then when you set it you take a snapshot or it can do instant translation for you then you'll be able to understand what that particular paragraph is talking about it might not give you the exact meaning of what that place is talking about now if you are not satisfied with that and you want to know exactly what that place is saying you can as well type it little by little but that's going to take you a while so what i do is after translating the particular um, page or paragraph if there's a word that i don't know the meaning um, i want to know the exact meaning i just type it and it gives me the meaning of that word now google translator you can download the, um, the translation of the particular language offline which is very very helpful when you don't have data so it's very good to have a translator because if you are traveling to that um country or a country where the language you are learning is being spoken you might not know everything you want to say so maybe you want to ask for where the bus stop is where the restroom is um you need to reach a particular junction do i turn right you can just type it in the translator 
So it's also possible that you're not learning a foreign language. You just need a translator. It's also good. You don't need to be able to read it. You can just type what you want to say. And when it's done translating, there's a speaker um, sign beside the translator. You just tap it and then you'll be able to um, hear what it's saying or the translator will read out what is written there. So I hope this video has been very helpful and if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It's really encouraging to me and um, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.